I'm Mark Lambert and I run a little shop out here in West Nashville. It's really a dream come true. I, I bought this old fire hall from the city uh, 30 years ago and I've always enjoyed working on cars. I left for a while the car hobby and I worked in the corporate world and then I, I, I left that to return to cars full time about 1985. I have in recent years uh, really concentrated on uh, what most people would call high-end cars. They're really special cars. They're classic cars, the American classics, the European classics. And I've concentrated on the Italian cars and the uh, British cars. And uh, my customers and, and myself, uh, we like to use these cars. You know, the market is out here making all this noise. Oh, that car's worth so many thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions. And that's really just noise. To real car people, it doesn't really matter. They're not going to sell the car. They found their dream car and they're going to keep it. And that's the fun of it. The Sensuous Steel Show in 2013 was important for a couple of different reasons. First, it was the first show of its type in Nashville. Of course, inside, but in fantastic galleries laid out in a way that a person could really understand as you walk through the exhibit the movement of design during the Deco era, that 1920s, 30s, early 40s era. And I think when people came in to see that they were really excited about the experience of being up close to those cars where they could really they could really see them in a human perspective. But there's nothing like being up next to a car, seeing the door open or the hoods go up. Sensuous Steel was, uh, was sort of a high water mark for us in the greater automotive community because Ken Gross put together just the most fabulous collection of deco cars in that Art Deco architecture and architectural environment of the Frist. It was really an exciting thing. And even before it closed, I was being asked, when's the next one? What are you going to do next? Well, that was three years ago, and, and we were already thinking about, uh, you know, what, what might be the possibilities. And this new show is Bellissima. It's the Italian Renaissance, essentially, in car design after the, in the post-war era. And that's going to give Nashvillians and far beyond the chance to see these cars that you so rarely get to be around and like I say up close to them to really see them in in the human perspective. So Sensuous Steel was sort of a beginning of this thought process and I think uh, all of the uh, people that involved uh, Susan Edwards fantastic team said you know how can we how can we outdo ourselves what can we do in the future well here we are three years later and we have another fantastic show and I think it uh, I think it's one that is uh, a lifetime event it really is that important it's very important for Nashville that it came to Nashville is a big deal and these cars are a really big deal you know, they're from a different era than the sensuous steel cars. These are from the jet age, the mid-century, that post-war era that was so, uh, it was so important and it developed so many uh, iconic uh, stylings and drew out so many really compelling people to, to make those cars. Because really, ultimately, these are transportation vehicles. They weren't made as rolling pieces of art. You know, today they're art and I think the most compelling kind of art because you could use it. You know, you can sit and look at a at a portrait or a, a fantastic sculpture, something that is world renowned, but you can't use it like you can a car. So these were workaday people investing themselves in making these cars, many much by hand, a lot of handwork was going going into these cars, and you can tell that it, there's a, there's a humanness to these cars, an organic sculpture uh, uh, to every one. And once you walk through and you connect that, it's kind of like being around a a, a bunch of uh, school kids when they get it, you know that 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 click. I really want to urge everybody to go down and see this show. Do what it takes to get down there and I know you'll be really happy that you did.